Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here uh, and continuing the topic sum of product form. SOP form, let me write down uh, in shortcut SOP form. So we've discussed the basic method how to obtain this SOP form, SOP form from the truth table and today I told you we'll be discussing some examples, two or three basically. But first, let me talk about the designations of the midterm. So let us draw a general table. Let us generalize things to remember for later on thing for later on usage. So let's say we have three inputs. We'll be dealing mostly with three inputs. So we I have three inputs A, B, and C. So I told you the method how to write them. And here we have 8, okay? Then we have a 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1. And then finally we have a group of 4. First we have 1 each, then a group of 2s, and then a group of 4s, then a group of 8s, then a group of 16s, then a group of 32s, and so on. We mostly will go till a group of eights, till a maximum, okay? Now, how are these terms, uh, what are the min terms for these? The min terms. The min terms, I told you, if it's a zero, we take the complement. So the min term for this uh, first one would be A complement, B complement, C complement. For the third, it would, for the second, it is A, a complement, B complement, C. Then we have A, B, A complement, B, C complement. Then we have an A complement, B and C. Then we have A, B complement, C complement. Then we have uh, A, B complement and C. Then we have A, B and C complement. And then we have A, B, and C. So these are the three. So these are the uh, different min term. And how are they designated? So their designation is what? I told you it is represented by their uh, decimal equivalents. M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, and M7. I'm sorry for shuffling things up here uh, i will draw some arrows so this is what we need to remember all right this is for three variable for the two variables it's a very simple one where we will solve an example over it so you will understand okay now when the function's value is high so we write the sum of product form so of product form is written when when the function's value is high over it okay Let's have a simple example. A simple example. From the given truth table, minimize the SOP expression. And the table is what? We have uh, A, we have B, and the function is Y. So two variables, four input combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. The function's value given is like this. 0, 1, 0, 1. Now have a look. We can see that the function's value is equal to b at any point. Have a look, okay? Now can you derive the SOP from? SOP form, the minimal SOP form. Can you derive it? If you can, pause the video over here and, and derive and then check. Okay, if you have checked, now if you have derived, so check over here. Uh, the first one is not. So the second one, which means M1 is high and M3 is high. M1 and M3 is high. We also write the function value like this. Function is summation of M1 and M3. 
Now this summation sign represents the OR operation. And these M1 and M3 represent the mean terms, of course. So which means we are adding, we are ORing all the mean terms. So this is a shortcut for that. All right. Now what is this mean term M1 in case of two variables? So this is a zero. So I write this function F, uh, sorry, this function is Y. Okay. So this function Y is equal to A complement B plus a b all right so b is common we have an a complement plus a into b which is equal to 1 into b when y is equal to b so this is the minimal soft form and see the standard form has all the variables in it but the minimized standard form does not have all the variables in it, the conditions that we mentioned in the last lecture. All right. Now if we are given another example. Let's say we are not given the truth table. We are not given the truth table. Let me remove this, this thing. Okay. We are not given the truth table and we are asked to simplify the expression for y of a, b. Simplify for a function y of two variable function a, b is equal to summation m of 0, 2, 3. Summation m of 0, of 2 and 3. Wait, let me remove this so that we don't confuse it anywhere. Summation m of 0 to 3. Well, I wrote in the last one, I wrote m inside with m0, m2 and m3. That is also a correct one. But this method, this is a... Uh, a preferable way to write the summation okay now if you know what are these mean terms 0 2 and 3 that is fine if that you don't know we wrote it for the three variables we can write them for the two variables as well we uh, if you want to learn it from here so we have two variables and which means we have 2 to the power 2 is four input combinations so this is an a this is a B. Okay, so the min term, this min term is what? This is A complement B complement. This is A complement B. This is A B complement. And this is A B. And they are designated as M0, M1, M2, and M3. So we have a total of 2 to the power N min terms. In the last lecture, I a little bit confused this. We have a total, total of 2 to the power n min terms ranging from 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1. I think in the last lecture, I only said that we have a total of 2 to the power n minus 1 min term, which is wrong. I got a little confused, I believe. We have a total of 2 to the power n min term. 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 4. And ranging from 0, the first one is m0 to m3, which means 2 to the power n is 4, and 4 minus 1 is 3, so its range is still 2 to the power 3. <coughs> Sorry. So, now look. If you know what is M0, what is M2, one is M3, you can directly, directly write it from here. All right? If you don't know, you draw the two variables, truth table, truth table, and you see it from there. So now this summation means what? That Y of AB is high at M0 plus M2 plus M3. This means this is high. The 
function value is 1 over here, the function value is 1 over here, and the function value is 1 over here, it is 0 over here. If this column represents the uh, function's value y. All right. Now you remember it. That's well and good. You don't. You have a look from this little table. We've already written it over here. So m naught is what? It's a complement b complement. M two is a b complement. And m three is a b. Now B complement is common in these two, so A plus A complement into B complement plus AB. Alright, now A plus A complement gives you a 1, you know that, and B complement added with a 1 will give you a B complement back, and this is plus, let's say I write it as a BA. And the property that we've studied is what, that A complement plus a plus A complement B is equal to A plus B. And here we have the opposite case. Here we have A complement plus A B. So it would again be A complement plus B. So over here the A complement is the B complement. And A is the B and B is the A. So the simplified version of this function Y is equal to B complement plus a or I can write this as y of a b in the minimal soft form is a plus b complement. Let me check a plus b complement yes. So this is the soft form which is obtained from the truth table or which is given like this as a summation of the min terms and this over here the reduced logic expression is the minimal sub form. All right, so we're done with the sub form. Uh, in the next lecture, we deal with the second standard form that is the product of sums form. And we'll be meeting you very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.